Its intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. You're watching Fear Fanatics. Scary videos from the web. Leave a comment for more videos like this one. Number five. Number five. YouTuber Grizzly Gaz is on an overnight solo camp with his dog Fendi. He's camping on a disused railway line that was dismantled in 1953. The lady in white is supposed to haunt this location. Let's see if he captures anything. Later that night, he can hear what sounds like humming or singing coming from the woods. Hello? The noises persist, so he gets up to investigate. Hello? It seems like Fendi has heard it too. Even our friends will heard that. Sounded like it was coming from over here. That sounded like a woman crying. Ooh, got goosebumps and everything. They settle back into the hammock and sit in the darkness, waiting and listening. As Gaz gets up and heads for the tree in the background, you can see the camera gets knocked by something oh. or someone. Fendi oh. doesn't seem to notice. Oh. Hello? Mate, I'm off. They decide to call this overnight camping trip quits because it's getting too creepy. Maybe the lady in white is trying to tell them to leave. Come on! But then he hears more singing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, mate. I can still hear it. Something is watching them from behind the tree. And it really freaks them out. Absolutely. Bobbed me pants then. Oh, wow. I shat my pants then. Absolutely. Call me whatever you want, but... That was just weird, that. Would you stay or would you go? Are you brave enough to face the lady in white? Number four. Van Liper Gary from YouTube's Travel with Gary and Amika was on a run through the forest of Tinsmuir. Out of nowhere, they came across a creepy cabin in the middle of the woods. Dozens of mannequins posed everywhere. Look how scary that is. Put the torch on. In the bushes, on the ground. Whoa. Even on a ladder. Look at that one. Seeming to stare at them. That one's got red and black hair. That is weird, isn't it? Look at them everywhere. Eek. Here's even one on the ladders. Oh, there's someone lying on the ground. Is that Falling over. Look at the one on the ladders, going up the tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about the washing line over there to the left? Yeah, mm. there. Keep it there. That is weird, isn't it? Owl in the tree, and there's a whole house there. The house looks abandoned, but you never know what could be inside. Let's have a look at the house. Come on. Yeah, I Shine it. Me. Shine it in the caravan. Whoa. It's all about ladies, that one is. It's an old, old, old house, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a car. Oh, with them in. Oh, with them in. Stop there. Yeah. What's the sign say? Sign. There. Uh, there. Stop. The second, the second best exotic COVID hotel. And the old car as well. For that, it's probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen in some woods. Look. I really There's another caravan there. Shine on that caravan. <laughs> Greg's a little nervous about the approaching car. There's a car coming there. Right, this is where we paid to get in down here. Here, take this. Yeah, swap. Swap. But it leaves and they come Whoa. across some horses. I've got no idea. They're absolutely nuts though. Who seem to be stirred up over something. Back again. Mind the fence. Yeah. I can't have steady cam on. It's too dark. It should be almost back at the van. And we're back. They made it back to the van and decide to leave. But they'll never forget that creepy cabin in the woods. YouTuber Camper Vibe is a female solo camper. Little does she know she's ended up in the most haunted forest in the UK, Screaming Woods near Pluckley in Kent. That is because now I know I'm in the most haunted place in the whole of England. Now Pluckley, the village itself which is haunted, is less than a mile stones throw away from where I am and then this is the most haunted woods. When I was at the van earlier I picked up some screenshots of some of the ghosts. Uh, I've probably already mentioned it at some point in the video now. 14 minimum known ghosts, known ghosts. Uh, and I am in, or very near to, Screaming Wood. Screaming Wood, so this is where you can come for um, ghost walk tours and they'll take you around the woods and show you all this stuff. But basically, the journey through the woods is made even spookier than the skeletal trees, which we've seen in the area. Many lone wayfarers who have come this way have been scared witless by a sudden, loud, anguished scream. What was I hearing last night? Screams. Puffy. Honestly, I've never known a woods with so many strange noises. It's not just your normal birds and stuff and planes. There's a lot of planes. There's like this weird... 
well, I don't really know how to describe it, but I'm tired, so I'm gonna let this burn out in a bit, sit here and enjoy a fire for a little while, and then, yeah, head to bed. The hammock's really comfy, thank God, so I should sleep well, I would think. Where's my big bean? What was that noise? This is definitely odd. She's going to attempt a 48 hour solo camp, but will she make it? She's already hearing footsteps. I've got no idea if you guys heard that or not, but honestly, I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. It's not deer. Like I know what deer sound like. I've spent so much time with deer. And screaming wood doesn't sound like anywhere I'd want to camp alone. Later that night, she hears more footsteps right outside her tent. Crows are starting to squawk as if to warn her of danger. Maybe there's someone nearby watching her. Swear to God, that was footsteps. That's just the house, though. This is definitely the scariest night I've ever had in a tent. I'm sure I can still hear footsteps. And trains. I doubt if she got much sleep that night with all the footsteps and the crazy noises. The owls, the trains, and the crows. I doubt she'll spend another night in the screaming woods. Number two. Project Amber is a YouTuber and solo van life camper. His fridge stopped working on a mountain range in France. I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think, to work that point. What are you looking at? You keep freaking me out, doggy. There's no one over there. <laughs> Can you see what I'm not? There's actually a well. Just where I'm parked, you go down this little track, and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was going to go and park there, and I saw the well. Instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I was about, about 10 when it came out, scared the sh out of me. For like a month, I didn't sleep properly. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm not staying there. He pulls the fridge out and begins to repair it, but that's when things started getting really strange. Let's hear what happened. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago, I could hear like really loud moaning, like, Aah! like just booming across the mountains. So I've come down to where I could hear it. 
uh, got to this old well and it stopped. I mean, that thing's wild freaky. It's like something out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything, it's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk, uh, no shoes, and no hair. So I said bonjour and that, and she res responded. Um, I asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then. She just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and then thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is, and that goes to the road. But down where she went that way, there's nothing, and there's nothing for miles. Where did she go? I'm gonna leave. As he decides to leave, he sees the girl again in the distance, crossing the trail. At least he got his fridge fixed. I have not got a clue what was going on there. That was so weird. The well, the moaning from the forest, the girl, the, nah. Maybe there's an explanation to it all, but I wasn't sticking around. I left, I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now. Uh, I saw the girl another two times. The last time I was near the van and she was running through the forest. I was, I was, I, I left. I was gone. I was gone so fast. Number one. Number one. Sky from YouTube channel Swamp Valley is headed to do an overnight of wild camping. In the middle of the woods. Every wild camper must imagine what could happen to them while alone in the woods. It always starts off okay, but what if someone was following you? Alright, so I'm in Lanfina State and heading up to go meet Colin and Sam. They've already got to the camp and I'm just gonna go have a little fire. Chill out, should be good. Stay tuned. Now Sky begins walking deeper into the woods and it isn't long before he notices. He isn't alone. Hey, I don't want to sound like a big pansy. This is really freaking me out. Somebody is actually following me. And... <laughs> it's freaking out. Picks up the pace and continues to film, so if anything should happen to him, someone may find the footage. Uh, I'm messing about with that guy. Right, I am. I'm gonna walk faster. Get up to my back. I'm trying to think of what they say. I'm like, is that a prank? Like, this is the woods that I'm ducking into. He keeps tabs on the man, but when he turns around, the man is gone. So I just. Do I just bloody call this? Where'd he go? Alright, I'm gonna hide. Alright, let's see. Let's see how good he is in the woods. Like the, the hunted become the hunter. 
Scott decides to hide and wait for the man to pass. This could turn out to be a very bad idea. The man catches up but Sky is hiding behind the tree in some thicket. He passes by without realizing Sky is watching him now. But the man is headed right for the campsite. front of my hink. Just asking what the hell he's playing at. Not too worried about him. But at the same time I kinda am. Is he a real psycho? The hell is he? But anyway. keeps moving forward and Sky keeps following. He knows he has to warn his friend Colin. the side of the man. He was right here. <clears throat> oh fucking hell. I need to be quiet. Did he go that way? Fucking hell. I don't know where the hell he went. Colin's like tries to call Colin again. Fucking hell, I don't know where he is. I give Colin a phone. Just tell him somebody doesn't get fucking done in. Fucking hell. Oh, oh. 
fucking oh Jesus fucking hell oh fucking hell The man appears out of nowhere and pours gasoline on this guy and is now chasing him through the woods with a torch. I can't fucking run. Fuck. Fucking river. Fucking river. Oh, fuck, it stinks. Is this video real or is it a prank on his viewers? Visit his channel to find out more. Please help the channel grow by subscribing. You can also be a huge help by liking the video and commenting. If you like these videos, visit our channel to browse other content and hit the notification bell to get notified every week when we upload a new video. Until next time, sweet dreams and happy nightmares.